David Crockett is widely known for his heroic death at the Alamo and less for how he lived. For the majority of his life, this amazing man lived on the edge and that's almost all he knew how to do. In the 49 and a half years David Crockett lived on this planet, he embodied the spirit of the true pioneer. Indeed, a man well acquainted with adversity, he suffered great losses and terrible setbacks while attempting to capture that elusive dream of a better life for all who were part of his. Not surprisingly, his single mission eventually became that of public service. He worked to provide affordable land prices to the very pioneers who had first ventured west, those who scratched into the land of foothold for the civilization that would follow, all the while burying their friends and family along the way. David Crockett came into the world on August 17, 1786, along the banks of the Nomachucky River in East Tennessee. He was a middle child of a large frontier family that only knew the reality of grinding poverty and monumental challenges, and those hardships would mold his character. Nothing came easy for the young boy and his family. A flood destroyed their home and almost swept them away. An indentured servant at age seven, he escaped childhood abuse. By the time David finally began his education at the age of 13, troubled relationships at home and school sent him running away from the only world he knew, all the way to Baltimore. Three years later, he returned home. The boy was now a man. Adversity and the kindness of others had shaped his honesty and determination. And for all the roles he would fill, destiny would take him west. David became more than a crack shot with a long rifle. He was a husband, father, soldier, and a hunter. And even as death took away his first wife, fate would guide him to a new life with greater assignments to fulfill. David Crockett's common sense, honesty, and humor took him further than he could have imagined. From Lawrence County, he served as magistrate, justice of the peace, colonel of the local militia, and became a state representative all within four years. And fate would use another natural disaster that destroyed his property to bring him to the region where you now stand. It is here in the wild country known as the Land of the Shakes, where Crockett became both a legendary bear hunter in the region and a famous congressman and orator in Washington. Serving three congressional terms within an eight-year span, Crockett became a national celebrity, even while opposing President Andrew Jackson's policies, especially Indian removal. The fallout with Jackson was too much, and Crockett vowed to renew his life after his political defeat in 1835 by telling his constituents that they could go to hell and he would go to Texas. The rest, we all know, is history. David Crockett was a man of impressive physical strength, blinding determination, and uncompromising independence, who, just before he died, finally met up with the very legend he had helped to create.